Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to the five weeks boot camp. Uh, how to get you how to get NSE done in six months or less. Welcome. Uh, please type in your name, um, your name and uh, the city and state and what position are you in uh, while, uh, while we get started. If you just tune in, please type in your name, your city and state and what uh, what uh, position are you in? Are you a marketing rep, team leader, uh, ASM, RSM, NSC or RVP? Just write in the position you're in. We're going to get started in a few minutes. In the meantime, you definitely, definitely want to get your team on this live webinar. Okay, it's very crucial. Uh, this is to help you build your business. You definitely want to get everybody on this live webinar call. Um, it's to help you and to help your team, your organization how to get to the next level so um, go ahead uh, and text send email call them up tell them they need to get this to this live webinar uh, this is gonna help them this is the training uh, for you guys so you definitely definitely need uh, to go ahead and, and send the text out and get pen and paper so you can write some vital information we're gonna get shared with you so it's very important that you um, uh, um, you get to a place that's quiet and make sure you put yourself on a vibrate uh, or even off so you can focus and pay attention, turn the TV off, go somewhere quiet, there's no kids going to bother you and then uh, you won't be interrupted so you definitely want to get this information. Um, okay, so we're going to get started in a few minutes. So uh, if you just uh, uh, log on. Welcome to Team Unique and Power Team Marketing Five Week uh, Five Weeks uh, NSC Bootcamp, and this training will get you to um, NSC done in less than six months. So you definitely want to pay attention. You definitely want to share this information. So uh, go ahead and then uh, type in your name, the city and state, and the position you are you in. Because I'm gonna have a conversation with marketing rep and team leader, and I'm gonna have a conversation with uh, ASM and above. So you definitely, definitely want to uh, uh, get your team on this call. And then uh, I'm going to tell you things you need. Okay, not what you want to hear, what you need to hear. Okay, so that's going to help your business. Okay, so go ahead and, and uh, make sure you get yourself ready. Pen and paper so you can take some vital, vital notes that I'm going to share with you how to get it done. Okay, so we're going to get started in a few minutes uh, with this. So uh, while we get started, make sure you make some phone calls, text some email, get people on this because this gonna help you, gonna help your business get to the next level. Okay, that's how important this. Okay, so make sure you tune in, make sure you pay attention, make sure you uh, um, get your team on this call, on this live webinar to help you. Okay, so we're gonna get started. My name is Carlos St. Jean. I'm a national sales executive writer. That's my contact number. If you want to do a three way, you could email me with any issues or anything you want to help to build your business. Okay, not tech support. Tech support, you can call corporate, send them a text, send them a submit. This is pretty much to build your business. Okay, so uh, that's my information. This is what we're going to cover today. Okay, this is part of the five weeks. This is uh, the to show you uh, the topics we had been talking about okay why vital prospecting peak private business reception customer acquisition process mindsetting and getting to the top by default okay these are the topics we're gonna cover some of them we have covered before and then we're gonna cover uh, uh, customer acquisition and retention on this training right now okay and, and, and um, that's what we're gonna cover okay so go ahead and get your pen and paper because this is gonna help you. Okay. You need to put this on paper. Okay. You ready? You this is it. You need to put this. Why are you doing Vitel? Okay. I'm gonna repeat pretty much this from prior training and this because from every training you're gonna some of the stuff duplicate. This is for some people that missed it. This is for some people that uh, uh haven't seen the first part or the second part of this of this training, but for you, if you have seen it, you definitely got to write this down. Okay, why are you doing Vital? To make money. That's why. That's what I'm doing it. 
Okay, your question is why are you doing it? Okay, aren't you doing any business to make money? To make money and to save people money. Okay, to make money and to save money. Okay, you're doing Vita to make money and to save money on your own product and services. Also, to help people make money. Okay, fourth, and you want to help people save money also, too. Some people are going to want to make money. Some people want to just want to save money. Okay. So that's your main goal. Okay. And the question is to ask, so why aren't you making any money with Vitel? Why? Okay. And we're going to cover all that. I'm going to share that with you and help you. Okay. So you got to fully understand that. Why aren't you making money with Vitel? Okay. So let me, let me pretty much share with you. Okay. If you marketing reps, team leader. Okay, if you have any doubt with this industry, okay, let me show you how big this industry is. The 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 market the, the direct sale, the MLM multi level marketing, how big it is because some of you are taking for granted, okay. It's, you think it's probably like small potatoes, small peon, okay, whatever. Okay, but let me show you how big it is. Okay. Now how much money do you want in it? Look at number one, NFL. NFL the industry is about nine billion dollars. It is. The NFL industry is nine billion dollars. You have video gaming, okay, is fifty billion dollars. You got the music industry, that's seventy billion dollars. And you got the movie entertainment, that's a hundred ten billion dollar industry. Then do you see where network marketing is? A hundred and fourteen. Who's number one? Who's the biggest? Are you kidding me? Okay. You see how much money you can make on this? I'm not making this thing up. Go Google it. Go look it up. I'm telling you. Okay. Network marketing is over $100 billion. When people are putting doubts or telling you in this industry there's no money in there. Okay. Look at the people that's telling you in this. How much money do you want to make in this industry? Okay. You got to change your 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 concept of thinking or even your friends or the people around you okay and sometimes you got to show people what industry the money is okay so this is this so when you have doubts when you are on the defense side when you are uh, don't have belief discourage okay you gotta look at the numbers okay this is this okay now, I'm sharing this with you so you can see the value. Why are you doing Vitel? Okay. Look at this. Okay. Do you know how much it is to open a franchise? Okay. Some of you are taking Vitel for like a joke. Okay. Some of you are taking Vitel like a joke. Okay. And, and the, pretty much the whole industry. The telecom industry. For example, let's look at Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, because some of you, when you sign up with Vitel for 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 150, 200, 250, under 300 bucks, under 500, are complaining and whining. Okay, I, I'm telling, I'm going to tell you things you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Okay, and, and I'm going to lay it out for you. Okay, look at the people that that invest in this franchise like Dunkin Donut okay you need a friend you gotta pay a franchise fee of sixty thousand dollars right from the door so consider that fifty or a hundred or two fifty that buy the, is a franchise fee and startup investment okay besides the sixty you need nine hundred ninety two thousand okay look at the numbers a million bucks. You might say a million dollars. Okay. Pretty much. But look at the franchise fee. $60,000 from the door. Just a franchise fee. They charge you for that. Okay. Seriously. And you see McDonald's. 45000 just for a franchise fee. And $1.58 million. Okay. You kidding me? And and we got people who are like you know, oh I, I have to pay hundred fifty dollars every month, two hundred dollars every month, fifty dollars every month. 
Okay, whether these people make money or not, they got to pay this. Okay, they got to pay their franchise fee. Oh, I didn't know after the, uh, the, the 150 or the 50 bucks at one time. You see how much money? Are you kidding me? Okay, look at Subway. 15000 Startup investment, 172 Okay, you kidding me? So let's, I'm showing you this so you know what you got your hand on. Okay. So when people put in doubts, okay, why are you doing Vital? You should be doing something else. Okay. You're not getting support of you from your spouse, from your parents, from your sister, whoever, family member. Okay. You got to show them the numbers. Okay. This is this. So I'm sharing this before I even jump into uh, customer acquisition and retention just to show you the value of the franchise how much you should be doing Vitel okay and stop worrying about 50 bucks 100 bucks 250 okay $600 whatever amount okay look at you own a franchise and I'm about to show you okay for example okay how serious you how serious are you with Vital Wireless. How serious are you? How serious are you with Vital Wireless? Your business. Let's look at Boost. Do you see these stores that have just Boost or Metro? How much do you think it costs them for the franchise? Let's look at Boost Mobile. Franchise cost. Detail at your finger, which I'm about to share with you. Okay. So, you are wondering about the cost of a Boost Mobile Franchise Endeavor. What to do? Okay. Let's look at this. There are certain things that you need to have in order to even have a shot for you to have a Boost Mobile Franchise. A retail location that you can submit for approval. You got to have a retail location for you to even do Boost. Okay, approval is required as a Sprint prepaid group require that. You got to have a retail location, which means you got to find a location, put a secure deposit on it, and put the first month. Next, next thing is you have to complete a biz, uh, yeah, next thing is complete business plan or executive summary outline several things must be done. It need to cover your wireless expense income projection for the next five years demographics on your retail location of choice and your vision for the store along with other growth plan are you capturing this this is what the requirement at least to have a boost store just just one one franchise one name okay next thing is you got to have the cash. If you don't have at least $50,000 or more ready to go to cover things like bill out, okay, and cash reserve, then don't even bother. You got to have at least 50000 okay, for you to have a boost retail franchise. Lastly, your credit score must be high. If you don't have a good credit, they will require at least $5,000 in airtime deposit, which is above and beyond other required expenses. Are you kidding me? Do you know what you have your hand on with Vitel? Okay. And most people, are you playing games? If you play games, <clears throat> do you treat Vitel like a monopoly? Guess what? You will not get monopoly money. If do you treat it like a business, you can get business money. Just some boost, just to share with you. Okay, let's continue. Okay, how much money would you need to start a company like Vitel that offer you the opportunity to sell all major prepaid phone carrier in the U.S. and other service international? So just some boost alone, you're talking about fifty thousand. And if you have a bad credit, okay, because they do do credit check, five thousand. Okay, how much would you, if you want to do a Vita wireless franchise, how much with all the people, you seriously, okay, let's look at this, what are the next steps, okay, 
Now, if you can't afford the first one, this one right here, okay, to open a Boost Mobile, let me show you what's the next step. If you, if you haven't got the above requirement in the bag, if you don't have what I just showed you before in a bag, then the next step is to contact a local master agent, such as VP Wireless of America, and they can take you through the authorized dealer ringer or getting set up with the carrier directly <clears throat> so if I want to open a boost wireless retail store I don't have 50,000 I don't have 5,000 so I have to contact one of the VP wireless or American wireless okay so they could get me as an authorized de dealer ringer for getting set up with a carry directly now if you don't have the above requirement in place there is a back door. This is where we come in. This is where Vital come in, pretty much. Okay. Vital offer unique software platform. Okay. You could be wireless dealer. Pretty much, you kept the whole carrier in front of you. Not only Boost, you have metro. You have every single carrier you could provide services. Simple Mobile, every single prepaid carrier. Okay, somebody could get services from you. Okay, from you through Vitel. And how much does it cost you to get started? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, how serious are you with Vitel, your business? Okay, this is why you need to do Vitel. Let me show you. This is why you need to do Vitel. Okay, again, you see the carriers you have in palm of your hand. Do you see them? These are the carriers, okay? Prepaid alone, okay? It's over 70 million American use prepaid, okay? It may sound like a presentation I'm giving you, but I want to show you the value, what you have, because most of you probably taking Vital for granted, what you have in palm of your hand. You don't fully understand it, okay? That right now you could provide services for people just like you see that boot store, met, metro store in the corner. And how much did it really cost them? And how much is costing you? Seriously. Okay. This is this. And you have all the prepaid carrier in palm of your hand. Where you could provide services. Okay. You go through your website. All these services. All these phones for the people. Okay. You could. And some people are making excuses. Some people are calling the up, up. The upline when there is an issue, when there's a problem. Look, I I could be on the phone with you, give you 99 reasons why you should do Vitel. But when you start thinking of one reason why you should not do Vitel, guess what? That one reason gonna pretty much knock you off the game. Okay, you have all these carriers in palm of your hand, no inventory. You can make from 40 to 60 percent commission. Seriously. How much commission is people all over there at Boost are making? Okay. Go ask them. If they really want to tell you. you th uh, if they're really going to tell you how much. 40% commission. No inventory. Okay. Look at the names. All major carriers in palm of your hand. People call their services through you. Okay. The f no inventory. Their phone go directly to them. And just got to follow the simple direction when he got into instruction. How to set it up. Okay. How about international? Would Boost allow you to do international services or metro? Are we? Are you seriously? Okay. This is what you got to look at. From 40 to 60% commission. Okay. So I want to share that with you so you can see. And I... How about prepaid calling card? I didn't even touch on that. How about these services? You could offer to people. Make some money. You save the money and you make some money. Okay. And you sitting there debating and you letting other people debating Vital for you. Okay. Or a little issues that happen. Okay. Or they can take, they're taking too long to answer the phone or you feel it's a small company. Now, if people tell me, well, Vital is a small company, I'm like, okay, show me your company. 
So Vita is about what? 10 million, 20 million, 50 million, 100 million? Let me see your company. How much value your company is? Is it bigger than Vitel? So before people start criticize, I'm like, oh, you got to look at the person that's talking to you. Okay, okay, show me your company. Who are you? Okay, how big is your company? Like, don't every company have issues? No. Let me give you an example. Verizon. Okay. I had Verizon for over 10, 15 years for my business. For some reason, the line went down. Call Verizon up. I'm not putting Verizon down, but I'm showing you, okay, that every company, that's good and bad to them, okay. This time, it come to me. For me to get an answer why the phone line is down, I have to be on the phone for over five hours. They switched me. I didn't think that Verizon was that big from North Carolina to Georgia to Arizona, okay, to Virginia. They switched me back and forth. For five hours, I'm like, are you kidding me? Until I could get the right person, and they tell me you're gonna take up to 30 days a month for the service to back up because the line was cut from the outside. They don't know exactly where where it's coming from. It could take up to 30 days. Guess what? It took one month and three weeks until I could get service. You think they was gonna do a discount for me? No. It told me it was beyond their control. It was Mother Nature. Okay. They couldn't do anything. So I had to wait. And lost customer to the last week. Until I find a I find a rep that suggested well we could forward your number, your 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 business number to your cell phone so you won't lose any customer. I'm like, why didn't somebody tell me that before? Oh, I don't know. I can't answer that question for you, sir. I'm like, seriously? So don't every company have bad experience are they a big company I could give you another example of the Marriott I went to Orlando for a whole week okay paid them for the whole week stayed there for two days kept my clothes went to me my, um, South Beach Miami okay my flight say you know fly out out of Orlando, but I drove, I got a rental car, went to Miami, stayed in Miami for like a day and a half, almost two days, came back, found out, they rent the room out to somebody else, and when I went downstairs, oh, I thought you check out, we didn't see your clothes in the room, I'm like, seriously, but guess what, they gave me the best suite, they took care of it, they were booked, right next to Disney, they were booked, but guess what? I got a better room, 10 times more than what I pay for. But don't they make mistakes? This is this. You have access to this. All these companies. And how much are you pay for this for Vitel? Okay. And how for granted are you taking them? Or are you letting people take it? The serious you are about Vitel. That's when your money start going up. Okay. And you got energy. Ten times bigger than, uh, than, than, uh, than telecom. Seriously. Ten times bigger. So, you earn from 40% up to 60%. Okay. Team retail sell from 15 to 6%. You kidding me? A product and services people use every day. And these are the rank to get put. So for you to get promoted, so you get a better raise, okay? And you letting people put doubts and fear, telling you all this stuff, and you not taking it seriously, you not working that extra hard, okay? To make that money, you own a telecom company. Once one shop stop, okay? That's what I want to share with you. Now let's get to customer acquisition and retention, okay? And you guys, all you guys need that. So, for any of you that was taking Vital for granted, I hope this helped you. I hope you see the value. I hope you fully understand, okay, why. Why Vital should be priority. Why Vital? 
Okay, why did you sign up? For you to make money. So let's talk about customer acquisition. Okay, let's talk about that. Acquiring customers. What are you doing? How are you acquiring customers? Okay, you got to think about that. Okay, and how are you retaining the customers? How are you getting the customer? How are you keeping the customers? The smallest things to you is a big thing for the customer. Think about that. You got to do what other big companies are not doing. A lot of customers rather deal with small companies rather than be because they get more perks. You got to think about that. Okay. Seriously. Okay. Customer acquisition. Okay. Make a list. People just sign people up. They don't have a game plan. Okay. Then you're going to lose people. Okay. Then again, in the same token, people think they know it all. They don't want to listen. But. Forget about what you have. Forget about what you learned before. If you have prior marketing experience, every company is different, so you gotta treat it differently. Every business venture is different. It may be telecom, but it's different. Okay, you gotta start from scratch. You gotta make a list. Inventory of potential customers. Your list is your capital. It's very important. It's very crucial that you do that. Your list is your capital. Okay, you got to make it. On your list, put family and friends. Okay, put everybody name down. Family and friends. Work associates, people you work with. Put their names down. You got to make that list. Because that's the way to market your business. Organization. What group or organization are you in? Okay. What creation activities? Okay. If you go to church, Bible studies, if you're in a music group or a football club or whatever kind of club, you go to bingo, you know, whatever it is, what creation activities are you involved in? School. If you have school friend, associates, okay. Do you have friends in school? Do you have friends you graduate with? Or do you have classmates that you know of? You got to write this name. I hope I talk to a couple people. Well, I don't know anybody. I don't have anybody. Okay. I don't know. People you do business with. Who do you do business with? Seriously. The Chinese. Your dry cleaner. This should be one of your men. Definitely in your mouth. People you do business with. Okay. People that you do business with. Should be doing business with you. People that you doing business with should be, you people that do that do business with you, okay, or you doing business with them should get your services. People that do that you bring business to them, they should get your services, and go to them. Look, if somebody gonna do your hair, look, I'm looking for a store that I can get good service, and I'm gonna bring my I'm gonna bring business to them in the same token that's gonna bring business to me. You'll be surprised when like, okay, what you do? Then let people know. A lot of you are secret agents. Stop being secret agent. You got to tell your business. You got to tell what you do. Okay? People who owe you money should be getting your service. Look, I'm not after that 20 or 100 or 200 or $300 that you owe me or $1,000 you owe me. Look, I'm having, they, will, they will be the hard person to tell you no. They're not going to get because they owe you money. Okay? People will love you. They will do anything for you. Okay? Always add to your list. People say, well, I don't have anybody. Right? Once you write it down, then it's going to be... It's going to happen. If you don't, it's going to be a wish. You're going to have a wish list. Okay? Quick start. Take immediate action. When you first sign somebody up, you got to quick start them. Put a game plan for them. That's why most people don't stay. Some of you just sign up people move to the next. Wrong. Sign them up. Start saving the money with their own services and products. Tell them to bring their bills. Every single bill they have. Soon they're going to sign up today. Have them bring that. So every service could be underneath them. Take action. Your goal should be at least you be your first customer 
but put it on there for 20 customers your goal should be within 30 days to get 20 customers immediately 20 customers doesn't mean 20 people I'm talking about services one person could get you four or five services one person could be your customers okay it could be 10 could be five customers for you one person I'm not talking about 20 people I'm talking about services so at your own house don't you have internet that's a customer that's a service right there don't you have TV that's another service don't you have cell phone how many line don't you have gas electric those are services okay put in your game playing 20 customers 20 services within 30 days ASAP okay earn at least $500 okay earn at least $500 in your first 30 days okay and I'll show you more by getting the customers you were like how are you gonna get $500 in 30 days how many cell phones don't you know three $35 cell phone three of them the same we're gonna give you 125 so 125 each week if there's four weeks okay get to close 500 or 500 or more okay give you that example make some money this is your business it's not mine it's your business how much money you want to make is up to you okay don't wait for someone to do it for you don't who you gonna who gonna do your business for you you know at your job if your boss tell you to do this put this on the shelf type this up if you don't do it guess who guess what your boss gonna fire you but in your own business if you don't do or you waiting for somebody to do it for you if you don't do it guess what's gonna happen to you you're not gonna make any money but you're not gonna get fired you're just not gonna make any money then you're gonna quit and you're gonna find every reason this is you're not gonna say it's your fault is we never admit it for our fault or oh, it's the company okay I had a customer I had a rep well I'm not making any money with I'm not making any money I'm gonna quit I'm not making any money I don't have any customer I promote nobody want the services I'm like nobody nobody not even one customer you don't have nope not one nope not even yourself no why not how are you gonna convince somebody yes if you don't have the service yourself think about that seriously okay lead by example lead by example you have to okay get started be your first customer for all your communication services be get all of them help that's gonna help you familiarize you with the services if any issues you're gonna know some people are like man what what man Carlo you how you know so much about the services how you know so much about this guess what when something bad happened it happened to me first so I know I'd rather happen to me first, not to the customer, so I know how to solve it. When to go to custom, when to go to part, uh, how to get it solved by contacting uh, uh culprit. Okay. Better happen to you than your customers. So if you never try and you don't know how to use, come on, seriously. Okay. Personal testimony for each services. If you save, bring your bill, show them. This is what I was to pay with this co with this company, for example. Let's say this is what I was to pay with Verizon, two hundred bucks. Man, I'm with this new company. I'm making you know for Verizon cell phone, they were killing me for two hundred bucks for one line, cell phone. Now I'm getting Vital service. I'm for thirty five bucks. This was my bill. Show that testimony. Show it to them, black and white. Okay, P papers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. Just prove it to them. Your testimony. Why sell a service that you are not willing to use yourself? Don't be a hypocrite. This is crucial, crucial for you guys. You got to try to service every single one of them. I have another rep. Why, man, why do I need to get that Wi-Fi? I don't need it. It isn't about what you need or what you want. It's about for your business, what your business want. You're a business owner now. Okay. 
I don't need that Wi-Fi. What do I need it for? I could get Wi-Fi to my cell phone, and that, it's not about. It's for your customer, for your business. Okay. Excitement. Speak with excitement when you talk about your product and services to customers. You gotta be excited. Have a sense of urgency. This is residual income for the rest of your life. Do you know the power in that? You do the work one time, one dish customers for two years back, you're making commission. Okay? This is for you, residual income for the rest of your life. Ignorance on fire will always outperform knowledge on ice. Have you ever heard of that before? Hmm. Do you really take it to heart? to the mind and th digest it real good okay think about that do you heard of do you know the apple system some places the tomato system okay who are you wasting your time with or who are you spending your time with this is what I'm gonna share with you we go by the apple system your customers are referred to as apples for an example your red apple your green apple your rotten apple. There's three categories of people. Okay, as customers and business owners. Who are you spending your time and how much time are you spending with each one of them? Let's start with your red apple. People that are, that are very approachable and easy going. Okay. Those are the red apple. People that are very approachable and easy going. These people are easy. They love you. They usually say yes. To pretty much to anything. Okay. Spend 80% of your time here with those people. Okay. For example, your mom. Your dad. Okay. They're very easy. They love you. Okay. Green apple. People that have questions. And are willing to help but need more information. Answer three questions. Then determine if the customer is res is serious or wasting your time. Refer them to your personal website for more information. That's when you're supposed to refer them to your website. Okay. The green app. They have question. Answer it. Three of them. And after that. They're going to start asking more. Just send them to your website. Don't send a red apple to your we website. Don't send a rotten people to your website. Okay. Answer three questions. Your green apple. Okay. 20% of your time here. Less time with them so you can spend with the, your, your red apple. Okay. Once they start asking one or two questions, you're going to know they're the green apple. Move on. You need to find red apple. And you got the rotten apple. People that are negative, they will not support you. Man, I know this company is a pyramid. It's a scam. It's this. Oh, uh, I don't want. I don't, those are negative people. Spend zero of your time with them. They're gonna waste your time. Don't bother. Okay, they're gonna put you down. You don't want to go with them. Misery. Guess what? Looking for company. Misery love company. You don't believe me? Don't try it. Okay, you know what's the SW, 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 and stand for? You got to do this. Are you taking notes? Okay, you're not going to memorize this all at once. It may seem common sense. You got to say to yourself, some will, some won't, so what? Call the next red apple. Some people will take your service, some people won't take your service. So what if they do? So what if they don't? Next one. Some people will join. Some people won't join. Some people will think this is a pyramid or this is a scam. So what? I want the next person that will. The next red apple. It's up to you. You got to think like that. Okay. Power hours. Produce value. When you do power hours. That's volume. It produces. That's going to help your business. You need to. That's going to help you. That's for your own benefit. Okay. Create a winning environment when you do that. Okay. It creates a winning environment for power hours. 
emotion versus logic okay emotion versus logic acquiring customers using emotion offer your services from the heart establish a sense of loyalty use the magic work of emotion you got I'm telling you I'm gonna share that with you use the magic word of emotion these words I'm telling you if you use them correctly they are so powerful favor help and try favor help and try I need a huge favor mom I need a huge favor can you try one of my services please help me out okay please help me out try one of my services you got it favor help and try I need to use sir I need to use favor please help me out try one of my services acquiring customers acquiring customers using script search for red apple complete the enrollment so your website customer survey form check status in your virtual office commission volume okay go in there if your customer supposed to get a service from you go and see if you see that name show up maybe it's not it's a computer it's a system maybe something happened okay you got if you don't track your business nobody gonna know okay it's your money don't wait two or three months four weeks later oh I got this person sign up I don't see them what happened don't get mad you're supposed to be on top of your business this is your money follow up with customers for to ensure their satisfaction you see we all dropped the ball on this as soon as you sign a customer up call them up hey how happy you are how's everything okay you'll be surprised what they're gonna give you ask for a referral they might know two or three people use the referral system whether they it's not for them or it's for them always ask for a referral this is a customer form huge powerful okay you gotta do it that's the customer the customer survey form okay have them fill it out take have have some with you retaining customers how are you retain your customers customer retention is just as important as a customer acquisition do you hear that do you see that customer retention is just as important as customer acquisition it's always easy to keep a customer that you have already acquired it's easy to keep them it's hard to get them what what you have them to keep them what are you doing okay little things make a huge difference little things do something the big companies never I'm not they never done before okay trust me on this thank you card holidays birthday cards okay let me ask you this on your birthday let's say you're using Sprint Verizon Comcast Optimum Time Warner on your birthday did they send you a birthday card or did they send you a bill don't laugh think about that on your birthday did you send a birthday card or did they send you a bill probably a bill so on your customer birthday one track for your customer for their birthday when they sign them up and put it in your calendar okay for that birthday send them a card it's coming from you for the holiday send them a card you see the use difference and do follow-up calls trust me it work are they enjoying the service some people are afraid to they might think the customer is not but it's showing that you care how to fix the problem. Are there any other services that could benefit them? If they say yes, what other services that you could provide they might need? You'll be surprised for them. Or if they might know somebody else, the referral system again. Spend the time to keep the customer you have acquired. Spend the time okay it's crucial you need to do this you gotta spend the time conclusion 
The goal is to get you to RVP. The goal is to get you quali RVP qualified. Wait a minute. Have to be RVP qualified? What you talking about, Carlo? Okay. The goal is for you to be RVP qualified so you can have enough money in your pocket. Once you do this, okay. Set a goal for yourself. 25 personal customers for RVP. Not 25 people. When I say 25 personal customers, not 25 people. Services. Okay. Services. If you want to get 25 people per, um, per 25 personal customers, go ahead. 25 personal customers. Customer doesn't mean people. It means services. Just make that goal for you to get 25 personal customers. Okay. It could be from sa satellite. It could be from the VBN. It could be from by social that we're coming out with. 25 cu personal customers services okay and create a club for yourself trust me on this eventually sooner or later you blank you never know right time I come up with it plan it 50 customer club create one for yourself it's gonna pay you a lot of money not customers not 25 people I'm talking about services 20 50 services one customer could give you five or six services okay the 50 club pay you a monthly dividend on all new select cuts trust me that's gonna pay you a ton of money on this okay a good amount of money you're gonna be happy with within a month based on the product and services you provide to them okay try it if you don't believe me okay it's important that you do that okay huge Work with your team, okay? Together, everyone achieve more. So if you have five people or ten people directed to you or your team, do a PBR. Do a training, okay? Do a grand opening with them. Call them up. Be there for them. Don't try to put ten people directly, twenty people directly under you. No, you're going to lose some of them, okay? You're going to lose some of them, okay? Have them plug in. 30 days, soon they sign up, you got to do a grand opening. That's the PBR training that I've done. Okay? Crucial. Okay? Now, do you want to get paid today or tomorrow? When do you want to get paid? You need to have the product and service in stock for yourself. It killed me. I'm going to say this over and over again. You're a telecom company. You need to have product and services. You got to have these. Okay. It's for your own benefit. So if somebody wants the services tomorrow. You're going to tell them wait two or three days. You got to have this in your hand today. Huge. Okay. These are some of the product and services. You got to have them. Have a dozen of them. Okay. You can get commission on this. Okay. And I'm showing you this again to show you how important this is. How serious are you? with your business how serious are you how much money would you need to start a company like Vital that offer you the opportunity to sell all major prepaid phone carrier in the US and other service international and again like I print out to you if just to own or to have a boost mobile franchise okay just to have that you need 50,000 at least 50,000 and they're gonna do a credit check if your credit is not good, you need to have at least 5,000 ad time deposit with them. Do we ask, do we ask for that for Revitel? Do we ask you to have $50,000 or to have a 5,000 whether they have a good credit or not? We don't care about that. You have the doors opportunity. The door is open to you. Vital open a door for you so you can provide services, prepaid, provide services on every single cell phone prepaid and with contract in palm of your hand and you don't have to have any inventory it go directly to straight to the customer address and they just follow the instruction on that from activation and everything okay so do you see that 
You see how much money people pay just to have a boost store, a metro store, and how much you whining and complaining that that fifty dollars or a hundred dollars a month or two one fifty a month, two hundred dollars. Vital give you every tools, every way for you to make money. It's up to you. Okay, up to you. How serious? And just to let you know, we do a every Wednesday at Newark, New Jersey, right by the Newark Airport. If you have any guests that wanna that wanna come, let call us, let us know. We give them the VIP treatment. And if you're a rep and you're in New Jersey or the Tri State area, come on over. Okay, we here to help you to build your team, get the training. Okay. We the only one that I know of is right now on a regular basis in the tri state of area. Newark, New Jersey, uh, New Jersey, uh, New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, in the tri state area. Pretty much, I think we're probably the only one right now. Every single week, we're doing this to help you. So take advantage of it. Okay? Now, this is crucial. There's no if, no buts. For before I give you the example of Dunkin' Donuts, how much money they need, okay, from forty-five thousand, sixty thousand, okay, to almost a million, nine hundred something for them to even to have a franchise, okay. Plus they have to get training too, not only one day or two days, months before they go even open a store, okay. This conference, this convention, no if no buts, you have to attend. Okay, August the 9th to the 10th. Okay, it's really a day and a half. Okay, from sa- from Friday to Saturday. You got to go. No if, no buts. Make the reservation. Get your plane ticket. That's the first thing that's pretty much going to go high. Get your, get your VIP. Okay, you need to be there. It's not questionable. You got to be there to get the training, to see what the company is about, to see if you're wasting your time or your money. I guarantee you not. You got to go. You're going to get the training. You get all this. Okay. You need to go. No if, no buts. Okay. This is non-negotiable. August the 9th and the 10th. Okay. Got to go. Okay. Now, this, I have to put this up there because it's the most important thing. Robert Kiyosaki. It's more important to grow your income than to cut your expenses. Some people say, well, man, I got too much expenses. I'm not making money. I need to cut down my expenses. No, it's the opposite. You got to get your income go up. Once your income go up, your expenses will go down. It's more important to, to grow your spirit than cut your dream. To me, those are powerful. Okay? So it's something for you to think about. Okay? And the last thing I'm going to leave you is this. I go with this every day. All of you guys could make excuses or you could make money, but you cannot do both. This is a quote that I live by when I started Vital, and I knew that in order for me to achieve my goal in life, I would have to make some changes. Are you making any changes? Are you sitting there making excuses or are you making any money? Let me tell you, you cannot make excuses or you cannot make money. You can't do both at the same time. So some of you making excuses. Oh, this Vital is this. Vital is that. Vital is this. Are you making any money? Okay? You're not going to do both. Stop making excuses. Okay? Stop. If your bill's not getting paid, something you're not you're saying. You're saying too much. Everybody interested in Vital until they start talking to you. Everybody interested in Vital until they start talking to you. The less you say, the better it is. Okay, tell them less. Would you go see a movie if the ending is at the end of the uh, of the um, commercial? Why are you watching the commercial? If they put the ending in the commercial, would you go and see it? Of course not. So why would somebody go see the the live webinar or they go see it if you tell them if you tell them? Okay. So thank you. Okay. Any question, feel free to shoot answer me. Okay, and then I'll be more than happy to answer it. Again, my name is Carlos St. Jean. Thank you for uh, for for you to be here at the uh, um, Five Weeks Boot Camp. Okay, we look forward to see you for next week. 
for the next training okay bye bye